Hi there. I remember reading children's books to my children when they were going to sleep. I have three of my own children, and we used to buy books all the time. It seemed like we were reading the same story over and over again. Well, for my youngest daughter, one night, I decided we were going to do something a little bit different. We were switching it up, and we were actually going to make up our story as we went along. We just laughed the whole evening before she went to bed, and it ended up being her most favorite story of all time. We made up this story over and over again. Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Truitt, and I usually am writing books about leadership and, and personal development, but today I want to introduce you to a brand new book series, and I want to introduce you to Blue Boy's Big Adventure. Let's check it out. So Big Boy was my wife's blue beagle. I'm telling you, she loved this dog, and he was the cutest dog. But he was still a beagle, and beagles love to hunt. We could not keep him in our uh, backyard for nothing. And he was just a little guy, but it seemed like he could get out of everywhere. And every once in a while, we would just find him missing, and he would be roaming around the neighborhood. We'd have to go get him. And he would go all over the place. And one night when I was reading my daughter a bedtime story, we decided to make up a story as we went along. And the subject of our story, Blue Boy. Blue Boy was our blue beagle, and he went all over the neighborhood, roaming here and there. And I decided to tell my daughter the story of how Blue Boy went on his own adventure. You see, Blue Boy went around the block and he would meet a cat in the neighborhood and he would want to play with that cat and then he would go a little further and he'd see a bird in the neighborhood and he'd want to play with that bird. And Blue Boy had the greatest time just going on his own adventures. In this kid's story, we talk about Blue Boy's adventures. Blue Boy goes to the farm. Blue Boy goes to town. And we're going to talk about his adventure with other animals. Now, the greatest thing about this story is the kids absolutely love it because they get engaged. This is not a story you just read to them and hope they fall asleep. This is a story where they engage with you before they fall asleep. You see, kids have their favorite animals and they love making those animal sounds. That's what this book is all about. See, Blue Boy, he meets a cat all the way around the block. And he asks this cat, hey cat, would you like to play with me? But dogs don't really know how to talk, so he actually said, and I go to my daughter and I say, what's he say? Roof, roof. That's right. They make the animal sounds themselves throughout the whole entire book. Of course, the cat doesn't want to play with a dog. It's a cat. Cats don't like to play with dogs. So the cat rudely says to Blue Boy, listen, I'm a cat. I don't play with dogs. And But cats don't really know how to talk. So the cat actually said, and my daughter would say, meow, meow. That's right. She would say the sound of the animals that Blue Boy ran across. This went on page after page after page, meeting animals from all over the place. You should see him at the farm when he runs into the cow, when he runs into the, to the chickens, and he runs into all of these different barnyard animals. The kids absolutely love making these sounds. This is a children's book that you're not going to want to put down, or maybe you will, but you're Kids will not. They're going to learn the sounds of animals. They're going to learn how to engage. They're going to learn how to anticipate the story and what's about to happen. I want to introduce you to Blue Boy's Big Adventures. I hope you'll back this book because I believe it's a book that your child is going to love or a child that you know is going to love. I can tell you from personal experience that my nephews, my nieces, my friend's children, my own kids absolutely love this story. And it's one we just made up on the spot. But we've got a great book for you. Put it all together. It's educational. The kids are going to love to engage with you, and they're going to know the sounds that the animals make. That's what makes it fun. So again, I hope you will back this project up as we introduce to the world Blue Boy's Big Adventures. Ruff, ruff. What's a duck say? Quack, quack. So Blue Boy came across a pond, and he saw this big bullfrog. And he looked at the bullfrog and said, Hey, Bullfrog, can you come out and play with me? 
but the dogs don't really know how to talk, so he said, what's the dog say? Quack, quack. That's not what a dog says. And the, bull, the bullfrog says, I just hang out here by the water. I can't play with you. But frogs don't really know how to talk, so he said, what does frog say? Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to check out our new book that we're putting out for children all over the country. And I want to encourage you to back this up. Listen, if you will just go and look at the different levels, if you will be one of the first supporters, we're going to have special gifts for you and special perks just for you. So thank you once again for taking a look and I hope you'll back it, get those special perks and just try it with your child. Make up a story that includes the animals. Those animals don't really know how to talk, so they actually said, your kids are gonna love it. Thanks for watching.